Hey everyone, XRKX here. Um, today I'm going to show you my Zelda handbill collection, and I found that I'm going to have to do this Gamester 81 style, because there's no better way than to show these pieces of paper. I tried a couple other options, but this is the best way that worked, so sorry Gamester 81, but I'm going to have to copy your style today. Hey guys, XRNKX here. Um, today I want to take a chance and show you my Legend of Zelda handbill collection. Now for those who aren't familiar, um, handbills are advertisement pieces that uh, they hand out in Japan when a new game is coming out. So there's quite a few Zelda ones. Um, I currently own all of them that I know about, except for one, which I'll get into detail later. Um, I really enjoy these. These are great pieces to have. They display really well. I have three of them framed. I plan on framing all of them eventually, but I'm waiting to like move my collection into a bigger space. So the first one here is um, this is for the original Legend of Zelda game. This is the Hyrule Fantasy on it. Um, this one's framed. It's going to be kind of hard to show without the glare. I'm going to do my best. It's got an advertisement on the bottom for uh, the disc system, and uh, you know, classic Link and Zelda. And let's take a look at the other side because they're all two sides or something to open up. Now this one, on the other side, has a different game on it. Now there's two versions of this handbill. One is this one, and it has the advertisement for the other game on the back. And the other one has um, like a, a generic like Nintendo advertisement on the back. So I have this one. I don't know if I'm really interested in buying the other version of it because uh, I buy them to display. So I'll probably just stick with this one for now. You guys probably see these hanging up uh, behind me in all my uh, all my videos because they hang on that wall behind uh, where I shoot. So this is uh this one took me a while to find. This is uh Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. I love the artwork on this one. It's great. Link just looks like a badass. Got the castle in the background. Um it has a screenshot from the game. Again, it says disc system. Um all these have dates on them too. Uh this one's nineteen eighty seven. Some of them have release dates also. Uh this also has the price. This was twenty six hundred yen when it came out. So I don't know what the conversion rate was back then. But that's pretty cheap. And this one has some great, great artwork on the back of it. So here we go. Let's take a look. Some your screenshots on top. And some great artwork. And on the bottom it has advertisements for other games. Alright, let's do these in some kind of order. So let's see. So this is the rarest one in my collection. You guys may have seen this in an unboxing video. But this is um, A Link to the Past. This is the only one I've ever seen. Um, this is also the one I paid the most money for. Uh, I didn't even know this existed until I saw it on Yahoo Japan Auctions one day, and I had to have it. So, um, you know, I paid a lot for it. It has the release date of the game, which is 1121. Uh, it has the price, 8,000 yen. And, very cool. It's got a date on it, too. 1991 Nintendo. And the back is great. It's got uh, artwork for the game, screenshots, a bunch of pictures showing what Link could do, and it actually has a little English. It says, uh, real-time action adventure. So, I can't read the rest of it. So that's my most expensive one. Uh, let's do the next one. Let's do uh, Link's Awakening, and this is for a DX. I've never seen one for the regular Link's Awakening, but... Um, as you guys know, this is one of my favorite Zelda games, so when I saw this, I had to have it. I love the artwork on it. Um, really, it was just, just a great, great flyer. Uh, 3,500 yen, that's what it costs. This is the Game Boy Color version. And on the back, here we have uh, some screenshots from the game showing the transition to color. More artwork of Link. Some pictures there, and uh, that's a picture of that dungeon that was included in the uh, DX version. There you go. It's pretty sweet. I like this one. It even has an advertisement on the bottom for the Game Boy Color. It's 8,900 yen. Alright, this is the one I got most recently. I just got this in the mail a couple days ago. Um, I was looking for this one for a while. I had lost an auction for it earlier. So this is for Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. Um, this is the first one I'm showing you that opens up. 
So let me show you this. This one, I think this one is so sweet. So it opens up. Uh, it's got artwork and information for both the games. So this is Oracle of, uh, what's that, Ages, and this is Oracle of Seasons. Really cool. But the best part about this one is the way it displays when it opens. So I need to find a frame that's extra large for this one, because I think this looks so cool. I'm just going to press on a little bit so you can see it better. So it's got both of them joined together. It's got the one tree in the middle. I just think this displays so well. Both sides have the date and the price. 3,800 yen. This came out on February 27th. But I really, really like this one. Um, when I find a frame, it's not going to match the other frames because it needs to be twice as wide. Or maybe even I'll just buy two of them and put them next to each other. So if I see another one come up, I might actually buy it. Uh, and here's my other favorite Zelda game. Uh, Majora's Mask. I really like the artwork on this one. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in the video, but all the background drawings, I think it looks really cool. Link on a Poda. The mask, Link. But it looks really sweet. This one also opens. This game came out April 27th. This one opens. It's got some cool artwork over here. Skull Kid, and there's Link. Characters from the game. I really like this one. So it's got Zora Link, Deku Link, and Goron Link. And it shows the expansion card. Cause this is the first Zelda game that needed the expansion card. Actually, uh, the only one. And the back shows that they came out with two different versions of this game. Uh, it looks like one was with the expansion and the game. And I can't see what this one was. It looks like the expansion and then disk drive or something? I don't know what this is for. But two different versions. This one's $20 more. But uh, very cool. I enjoyed this one. This one I paid a little bit for too. This was probably the, the second most I paid. Um, I probably should have went to this one before that. But here's the one you guys want to see. Ocarina of Time. So I have this one framed. Um... This was actually the third one I bought. I had Zelda 1 and 2, and then I bought this one. So I framed it right away. It has really cool artwork. It's uh, black and gray with the red logo. This came out November 21st. It was 6,800 yen. This one also opens up, but I didn't want to take it out of the frame. So I, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to show you the inside of this one. But it's similar to Majora's Mask, where it shows screenshots and stuff from the game. And the back, some more info about the game. Uh, it shows that it uses the Rumble Pack. There you go. And it also has a little blurb about Link's Awakening DX, which I just showed you the flyer for. And last but not least, this is the last game that I saw a flyer for. I haven't seen any since this game. And this is uh, Wind Waker. This has arguably some of the best art for all these. Because they, they just pack so many characters into this. It's got a lot of personality, and they're all standing on a globe. It's got the ship. This game came out December 13th. It was 6,800 yen. I really like the artwork on this one. This is going to look good when I frame it. Uh, it's got the scroll with the story on the top, and then it's got some great artwork that kind of spirals out of the middle. It's a lot of characters, game design, game info. shows that you can get the Tingle Tuner and hook it up to uh, the GameCube. And here's the back. Um, I really like these. Like I said, I'm going to frame them all eventually when I get space put in a bigger collection room. Right now they're all sitting inside of uh, clear plastic uh, protective uh, sleeves like this. These are pretty sturdy. So right now they sit in that and they sit inside a bigger folder. But um, I'm pretty happy with this collection. I really enjoy collecting these because they display really well. And um, thanks for watching. Uh, there should be a new video coming up sooner than later.